So I've been working on this LED bridge thing and I think it's gonna be kind of fun. So all I've done, there are three bridges. So um, let's imagine them with these, shall we? I mean, I'm sure you can imagine three bridges. Anyway, so there are three floors on the, oh, they're not gonna stand up. There we go. Three floors, like, oh God. Uh, three floors like that. And each floor has a bridge between the two buildings, the two wings, I guess, of this building. So there are bridges across and they're glass, but they're not used either. Uh, and they're not used just because you can walk around just as easily. I'm not sure why they were even designed in the building. However, each one of those glass bridges currently has LEDs going across the walkway, but they're only green. They're just green LEDs, um, like an LED outdoor strip. But some of them have started fading. They've been in there years. So um, I suggested let's put something together and we'll make it ourselves because it'll be fun. So we're going to do that. And uh, I wanted to do it on a Wi-Fi microcontroller. This is the, it's a Wemos clone. It's not a real one. Um, and I'm using Adafruit's NeoPixel library to drive the NeoPixels just to do the communication part. Um, most of the other stuff I'm going to do myself. Now, I know people have suggested some libraries that I could use, um, and that's all well and good, but I like to, when I feel that I can do something myself, um, I like to do it myself because I think I can learn more that way. So um, I've just created a little web server on here essentially. So it's an access point. I go to it and I've created a little index page which has my colors on it for the three bridges. Um, I'm using some jQuery to uh, create a color picker here and I can just choose, it's actually upside down, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. And I can just choose which colors I want and pop them on the display. Now I've also got a little uh, rainbow function as a button at the top. Now I used some sample code off the internet and it was probably an Adafruit one, but the one that they had was a blocking code version. So it had a delay inside their rainbow loop. Um, so I had to rewrite it without a delay, which meant removing one of the four loops, adding that into the main loop via a switch statement. So it was a bit, it was a bit difficult <laughs> uh, to do. Uh, but it works just fine. I think I need to, so you have to reconnect to reset the settings on here. So um, once you set it, you can forget it. And it also has the ability to turn off the Wi-Fi from here. It's not very fast. It's not using some kind of direct transfer method. It's just using um, post requests via um, Ajax essentially, which is some kind of JavaScript deal. Um, but I wanted it to be able to be turned off. So the Wi-Fi could be turned off, but the microcontroller to not be turned off. So when I pull out that cable there, that one's uh, the 3.3 volts, which is putting a high on, which pin is it? On D2, that removes the Wi-Fi. So I'm now disconnected. I don't know whether you can see it, but uh, this will not refresh the page. It will tell me it's not connected, which means no one can access this anymore. So because it's going to be in a public space, I didn't really want it to be publicly accessible. Just, it has a username and password on here, but you know, uh, people hack into stuff, don't they? So if I just disable the radio on here, it should make it a little bit more secure. I mean, it's, someone could easily just go in and pull out one of these wires and do whatever colors they like, but whatever. It's not really important. I just wanted it to have the ability to turn it off. Um, and equally, I can just put that back in um, so it's essentially like a switch is all I'm doing there. It's going to have a switch to turn the radio on and off. Um, so I've just turned it back on um, and I could connect to it again if I wanted to. Uh, so that's where I'm going with it. At the moment, I've just written a bit of code and a web page to interact with three NeoPixels, which I will replace later on, I think. So those bridges are seven meters wide, I think 7.2. Um, and the biggest strips that I could find were five meters of waterproof stuff. So I'm going to have to like cut them in half and then have 7.5, I think maybe, or just not go the whole length of the bridge. I'm not sure. It's got 150 LEDs on a five meter strip. So hang on, let's work it out. Let's get the calculator out. All right, calculator. So I'm just using my phone here. So if they are 
60 milliamps times 150 is 9 amps per strip and we've got three of them so that's 27 amps and at the moment the bridges have two strips per bridge so that would be 54 amps that's quite a lot isn't it that's if they're on constant brightness so let's say we um we take it down to i don't know 50 percent so we still need 27 amps so 50 percent brightness these are currently on full brightness i think um yeah it's a bit that's a bit crazy so i think we're going to use like an atx power supply from a computer or something um, which should be fairly easy to use fairly safe um, and they're pretty plentiful we can get them pretty cheap um, i think we're going to end up having one power supply per bridge and then sharing the ground across them um, i think that's probably the best way i'm not sure about driving it from a 3.3 volt controller because these require the voltage on the data input to be 70 percent of the source voltage that's going into the chip um, just so it gets its high signal and low signal right not sure might have to do a little um trick with that and do some kind of um what's that thing called stepping up the voltage for the oh, it's like bi-directional whatever i'll remember at some point but at the moment <laughs> i'm just happy it's working and the code's working there was a lot of back and forth with it you had to upload so i'm using the uh, what is it s piffs spiffs whatever the the memory on here to store my web page um, and i didn't know how to do that so all i'd ever done is code it inside the loop um, but yeah, first time doing that, so that was exciting. Anyway, that's all that I've got, um, and I'll let you know about it in the future. All right, bye.